Welcome back to my channel. Orchid growers should definitely watch this video until the end. There are basic care to use that should be applied in orchid care. If you apply this, your orchids will continue to bloom constantly and maintain its vibrant appearance. Now what are the 7 basic rules of care necessary for your orchids to be constantly strong from the first day? Let's watch it together. Watering. You bought it or it came to you as a gift. Orchid, decorated like a bride, will maintain this strength for about 2 weeks. After 2 weeks, you should start caring for it now so that your orchid continues to stay alive. Remove their ornaments and place them in a transparent container where you can see their roots. Do not throw away the old container. We will use it for watering. It is more convenient to have your orchid in a transparent container so that the roots get light and you can track the watering time according to the root color. Do not do watering as soon as your orchid arrives to you. The orchids that come from the florist has a sponge right in the middle of the soil and this sponge allows your orchid to stay alive for a while. If you water it a lot without removing the sponge, the flowers of your orchid will fade after a while. And that's why you will do the watering according to the root color. When the root color of your orchid turns from green to grey, Fill the old porcelain container with water and soak the orchid in this water for 10 minutes to absorb the water. When you remove it, you will see that the root color is green again. After pouring out the excess water, put it in the porcelain container again and let the water drain. Then put it in the transparent container again and do the next watering again when the roots are green in color. When you are done watering it, do not leave any water in the pot. Orchids open their new flower every 6 months. When the first flower fade, remove the sponge while taking care of the root. Floor lice. If your orchid suddenly withers its flowers, check the soil. There may be floor lice transmitted from the soil being too moist or from the other flowers. These floor lices that roam over the orchid soil absorb the sap of your flower and your orchid dies after a while. I have prepared a video about how to clean this up. You can watch this video from above and the link I will add to the description. Leaf droop. How to ensure the old strength of your orchid if your leaves starting to droop. 3 or 4 thinly chopped garlic cloves. Transfer them to a jar filled with water. Crush one aspirin and transfer it to the jar. Leave this mixture to infuse for two days. Fill the mixture you have prepared up to half of the orchid pot. Do not fill it completely so that when you immerse the orchid in it, the water is only at the ground level. Put your orchid in its old place and after a week you will clearly see the change in the leaves. For this process it is necessary that the number of roots of the orchid should be more than at least as much as in this video. If there is less root let it stand for 2-3 to three days instead of a week. Do not leave the remaining water in the pot. Sunlight. Never put your orchid directly in the sun. Put it in a place with plenty of light so that it gets the sun from the behind the tool curtain. If you position it this way, the petals will not burn and will remain alive. The petals will continue to nourish your flower. Orchid blooming. Orchid blooms every 6 months. The orchid, which expends a lot of energy when opening its flowers, must now gather energy to open its new flowers. It is during this period that you should feed your orchid for its new flowering. Put an egg in a container filled with a liter of water. Add a teaspoon of mustard powder to it and bring it to boil. After boiling, leave it to cool. Strain this mixture. Add a glass of water to glass of eggshell mustard powder mixture and immerse your orchid in this water. Leave for 10 minutes. After that, strain this water and fill it 
into the old container. Finely chop 2-3 garlic cloves. Crush one aspirin, throw it into this water and water your plant with this water at the next watering. You will have given the mineral and energy that your orchid needs with this mixture. Perform this procedure once a month. Feeding from leaves. Orchids love humid environments. They are often deprived of this moisture in our homes. If you want to have a healthy orchid, you can wipe its leaves decently with wet cotton wool from time to time. For a more effective method, take a cup of freshly brewed tea and add it to the half a liter of water. Fill it into a spray bottle and water your orchid, except don't let it touch the flowers. Do this procedure once a week. There will be noticeable improvement after 3 weeks. Composition of tea contains many minerals necessary for development and growth of orchids. A large amount of potassium and other elements will help orchid roots to grow quickly. Potato fertilizer. Another fertilizer that you should apply every 15 days is potatoes. Cut 20 grams from the potato, pass it through the mixer along with a liter of water, strain it and fill it into a spray bottle. Apply this every 15 days for a month. The orchid will make its rapid development from the cells in its leaves. Don't forget to spray it under the leaves. Potato fertilizer will ensure that the orchid remains healthy. In a short time, your orchid will be more vigorous. Potatoes contain the calcium potassium that the orchid needs to grow. In particular, it supports the rapid growth of roots. It contains natural acid in a small amount this acid helps the plant to recover quickly. It also removes harmful fungi and insect. Apply it in the morning. The pores under the orchid leaves are open in the morning coolness. It takes minerals more comfortably, so spray under the leaves too. Especially water in the morning so that the orchid leaves dry out by noon. Thanks to this, the water dries out and does not cause leaf rot. You can see that it opens its new leaf in two weeks. If you follow these rules, your orchid will always remain alive and will give a new branch of flowers every six months and will open its flowers again. You don't need to do anything else. If you want to watch other orchid care videos on my channel, you can watch them from above and from the link I will add to the description. Share this video so that everyone can see it and comment on it. At least write a feedback, such as simple thank you or a suggestion. If you like the video, don't forget to click the like. If you have just come to my channel, subscribe and activate the bell to support my channel. See you in my next videos.